This is a comparison I'm doing with some different solar panel technologies. Uh, this is in Georgia. Uh, it's March. They're all facing the same way, all getting about the same amount of sun. These two long ones here are thin film panels from Unisolar. They're 136 watt. Uh, these two, because they're higher voltage, are tied in parallel. These uh, bluish looking ones here closest to me are polycrystalline panels, 100 watt rated from Solar Fiddle. They are tied in series. And then the two black ones in the back are monocrystalline panels from Energy. These are also tied in series. So each set of panels is going to its own microinverters. So there's th three sets and three microinverters. The three microinverters are all the same model. They're uh, WB230s uh, from Kadenge or Kate Engineering. Um, so pretty much what I'm doing is I'm just going to let them run and see uh, see what produces the most power over a given amount of time. It's uh, you know not not optimal conditions. They're all kind of equally dirty and all facing you know basically straight up. So the test has just kind of started, but let's see what the power levels are so far. They're all going to the same type of meter. Um, so the Unisolars are about 113 watts right now. The solar fennel polycrystallines are 74 watts. And the rental G's are a little over 100 watts, just uh, snapshot wise. And I'll let that run a little bit longer, uh, maybe a week or so. I can't leave my uh, truck trapped by the solar panels indefinitely and come back and uh, see what the results are. This is, these meters will measure the uh, kilowatt hour usage as well so anyhow that's uh that's my test and uh i don't know check back in uh, about a week and see what the numbers are